Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a review and tutorial for y'all today on the Pure Cosmetics Love Your Selfie 2 palette, which I was so excited and thankful when they sent this to me because I love the first Love Your Selfie palette. I think it's amazing. So I was really excited to try this one. So I'm going to do like I normally do in my review videos. We'll talk about um, pricing, we'll look at packaging, we'll look at some swatches, we'll look at some comparisons between this one and the first Love Your Selfie palette, and then I'll just show you like a little tutorial on the look that I'm wearing. So let's get to it. The price of this palette is $42. The first one is $39, but you do get some kind of different things included with this one versus the first one. So I think that's kind of the reason for the price variance. The outside box is really pretty. It's just like white and glittery and just really, really beautiful. And then on the back, it's got a picture of the actual palette so you can see what's included there. And then you do get a little card, which is, this, this is always a nice little added detail because you, you know, kind of get some inspiration and I just always appreciate that. I think that's nice, especially for people who are new to makeup or just, you know, needing some inspiration. It's always nice to have these things included. So there's a day look and then a nighttime look. And then the palette itself looks like this. So really beautiful looking. It is a little bit bulky, but it's because of the things that are included in here. Um, but it has a really pretty look to it. It's right about the same size as the first one, except it's a little bit longer. So here they are in comparison, both just really pretty kind of white palettes that are making my camera go crazy. So what you have included in this set, there are eight eyeshadows, three face products, a gloss, a kind of lip pencil, and then a smaller mascara, like a deluxe size sample mascara. So this one has a very kind of like fall look to it to me. It just, it looks like a fall palette, which is so pretty with these kind of like burgundies and greens and golds. It just has that sort of feel to it. So I love that about it. Let me show you the first one. The first one is a little bit, they're both neutral palettes, but the first one is a little bit more neutral, I would say, because this one has like, I don't know, more of like a bridal sort of a feel to it. It's got kind of more of the cool tone neutrals and just kind of anytime I see sort of like plummy sort of shades, it makes me think of bridal. So this one is a little bit different. And then you do get a mascara in this one and a gloss in this one. So you don't get the lip pencil in this one, but the mascara is a larger size. So that's kind of the difference between those. I am going to show you comparison swatches. So let's get to some swatches of the selfie too. Okay. So starting on the top row of the palette, this is headshot. That is statuesque. This one is panorama. This one is abstract. That one is pose. That is Sketch, Megapixel, I can't see that, Paparazzi. <laughs> it had shadow over the name, so that one's Paparazzi. And then the face products, this one is Overexposed, Photogenic, and Composition. So this is kind of like a, I don't know, you have options with that one. Like it could be a highlighter, it could be a blush topper. Um, if you're really fair, it could be a blush. So I kind of like to combine them to make a blush because this is a little bit too dark to be a highlighter for me and a little bit too light to be a blush. So mixed with this one, it makes a really pretty glowy, neutral sort of a blush. And then composition, as far as the bronzer goes, is pretty warm toned. Like it is a pretty warm toned bronzer. Um, it's not very neutral, but I mean, I did contour with it and I have been contouring with it. So I think it works. It's just more on the warm toned side. And I forgot to swatch the lip products. So here they are here. So this is the Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Focal Point, And this is the lip gloss in Silhouette. I really like the lip gloss a lot. I think it's beautiful. I think it's comfortable, not sticky, really, really nice. I'm not a huge fan of the lip pencil. Like it's just, it smells and feels a little bit waxy. So I'm not a huge fan of that, but I love the gloss. And here are comparison swatches between the first Love Your Selfie palette and the Love Your Selfie 2. So you can see just all beautifully pigmented shadows, beautifully pigmented face products. They just kind of have a different feel to them. You know, this one kind of just, to me, feels more like fall. This one kind of feels more um, bridal and sweet. So it just kind of depends on what you're looking for. But as far as quality, they're both beautiful. And as far as being different, 
They're absolutely different sort of palettes, but you can combine them all together and make a really beautiful neutral palette. But they are different and I really like them both. And then quickly talking about formula, I love the formula on these eyeshadows and these face products. They're very like soft and buttery. They do have some fallout. You will get fallout on your face and they do kick up some product in the pan, but they're just really beautifully pigmented. They blend well, they wear really well. I love working with these shadows. I think they're really easy to work with other than needing a little bit of cleanup. That's really the only thing about them that makes it a little bit more challenging. But as far as blending, how they work together, pigmentation, how they wear, I think they're amazing. And I really love the face products too. I feel like they blend into the skin so nicely. So I love the formula on these face and eye products. I already mentioned the lip um, pencil, not a huge fan of that, but I do really like the glosses. I think they're a beautiful formula to those too. And then I will use the mascara in the tutorial. This was my first time using the mascara and I like it. Like I think it's pretty good. I think it built up some volume and gave some nice kind of thick, long looking lashes. So I do really like this mascara. That's the first time trying that. So love the formula on this palette and the first one. I think it's just really high quality. So my overall review on this palette, you can probably already guess. I love it. I think it's great quality. I think it's beautiful, really convenient for travel. And I think it's just great. I would definitely recommend it. Like if I had to choose between the two, I don't know. <laughs> because I love them both. I think they're both so nice. But if I had to narrow down and just like going on color selection, if I had to just choose one, I would probably still go with the first one just because I love those kind of like plummy pinky sort of shades and I love the blush color in that one. So if I had to choose, I would still go with the first one, but I'm loving this one. I think it's just so pretty, beautiful for fall. It has kind of like a foresty sort of a feel to it. Just gorgeous. So I'm loving this one as well. I'm so excited that I have both of them. So I think as far as like which one to choose, it's really just going to depend on which color selection you prefer because they're both really high quality and perform really well. So that's my review. So now we're getting into the tutorial. Okay, I'm going to start by priming my eyes today. I'm using my Urban Decay Primer Potion. And then for my crease today, I'm going to get a little bit of statuesque and composition, the bronzer, and I'm going to do a little combo of the two using my Sedona Lace EB15 brush and apply that right into my crease and transition area. Now I'm going to get some of Megapixel on a Sigma Concealer, I don't remember the number, brush. And I'm going to first apply this dry onto my lids, kind of basically like the two-thirds of my lid, inner two-thirds. And then I'm going to go back in and I'm going to apply this with some MAC Fix Plus, just to kind of intensify it a little bit. This one does have a little bit of fallout, so you probably want to tap off your brush and really just pat it versus like doing a lot of swiping or blending. And now I'm gonna get some paparazzi on a little small um, crease brush. I will link this down below for you. And I'm just gonna apply this right into my outer corner and blend that into those other shadows. But we really wanna concentrate that on the outer corner. And you can go back and do any blending that you feel like you need to do. I'm going to take some of Headshot and use that as my brow bone highlight. I'm just using a Pure Cosmetics eyeshadow brush. This is pretty intense, so I'm trying to use just the tiniest little bit of this. Now I'm going to tight line with my L'Oreal Infallible Never Fail Eyeliner in Black. And I'm going to line my upper and lower lash line with the Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner in Marae. Array, I think is the color. It's kind of like greeny sort of a shade. And 
And then over that liner on my lower lash line, I'm gonna get a little bit of abstract on a Sedona Lace EB21 brush. I wanted to use this shade on my lower lash line just kind of as a little something different. I don't really know why I did this, but I just did. And I like it. And then I am gonna put a little bit of paparazzi, that dark green on the outer corner of my lower lash line. And now I'm just gonna curl my lashes and apply some mascara. Today I'm using the Pure Cosmetics Fully Charged Mascara and then my Clinique Bottom Lash. Okay, moving on to the rest of my face. So I've already applied foundation, concealer, powder, and brows. So now for bronzer, I'm gonna get some of composition on a Sedona Lace FB05 brush. And I'm just going to do some contouring and warming up my face with this and also my neck. bit of overexposed. It's a really beautiful kind of like satiny sort of a color. So I'm going to get it on a Sephora Pro Contour and I'm just going to kind of apply this where my highlighter would go, but I'm also bringing it over a little bit because it's not super shimmery or anything. Just a really nice subtle glow. So I'm doing this kind of as a under eye brightener slash highlighter. Now for blush, I'm gonna do a little combo of these two, of Photogenic and the Composition Bronzer. And I'm just using a MAC, like, angled something or other brush. Then for lips, I'm gonna line with the Jordana Easy Liner for Lips and Tawny, and then use the Pure Cosmetics Lip Gloss in Silhouette. Alright guys, so that wraps up this review and tutorial. So I hope that you really enjoyed it and it was helpful for you. Please give it a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below what you are thinking about this palette. If you've tried it out, what are your thoughts? If you have any questions for me, just ask those down below. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!